tutorial i'll be teaching you about um showing you best buy stock just type in google and enter it and you'll get this information now, i can see the name is best buy stock company inc and um it's bby is the um symbol and it's 65 67.11 us dollars for one stock it's a billion size firm so it's a big firm and it pays a dividend of 2.95 percent that's brilliant I just want to point out any firm that is paying dividend that means they're financially very very strong because that's uh, after paying the loans liabilities creditors they still have extra money left that extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends even if a firm is paying less than one percent dividend that's a brilliant news because that means that is extra money so that means they're financially strong so please don't worry if if some firm is paying a dividend that is quite low according to you but that is a that is a not a weakness that is a strength of the firm because they are financially strong now let's go to wikipedia and see when was this founded i can see it's founded in 1966 now i want to see what the employees have to say about this firm what i'll do is i'll i'll just copy this exactly from google copy this paste it here and i'll type in indeed reviews and let's see what people employees have to say about it we have 23,400 reviews and it's 3.9 star and please read through the pros and cons yourself check out the salaries uh, the company is paying the photos of the firm and the questions asked and please check out the um, reviews in Glassdoor as well that's important as well so I just want to point out that they have 20,000 reviews and it's 3.8 star. That's brilliant. Please read, read through the reviews yourself. Check out the jobs they have listed, the salaries they are paying, the salaries they are paying, the interview questions, the benefits they are getting, uh, employees are getting, and the photos. Let's go to Yahoo Finance and uh, we want to see who the key executives are and what salaries are they getting. So I'll just click there. And I'll click BBY because that's the Nasdaq symbol from Google. Go to profile and you can see the sector, industry and employees. And the best part is that they have five key executives and all of their salaries have been shown. That's brilliant because it's a lot of transparency and uh, which builds trust. So they have shown us all salaries. That's brilliant. Now let's go to just here patents and see if this firm has any patents. I will just paste here exactly from Google and no patent appears. So what I'll do is I'll paste this one, remove this and click enter and nothing appears. So I'll just try this part maybe. Uh, right, let's have a look. Yeah, I think that's, that's maybe similar to what we are doing. So I'll just search this exactly and then I will just search this in Google as well and see if that's the same thing or not. I think that's the same thing yeah that is um, if I go to wiki I can see hmm, I think that's the same thing and um, I think in images it appears um, it appears to be the same thing so um i guess that's the same thing i think so that's the same thing so i would say it has one patent so i'm interested in assignee because this is um this is the person who has the full rights of the patent so i think it has a patent in 2001 and uh, you can just go through yourself you know to through the list and that's another patent in 2011 and um, okay that's fine and um, 2011 it has a lot of patents i guess and uh, that's brilliant and the more patent a firm has the more stronger it is please look for patents in 2015 16 17 18 because that means they're still innovating there's another page to it go through the pages yourself and um, it's a big list now I want to go to macro trend and I want to see the, the um, price ratio, go to price ratio, price book ratio and uh, type in the symbol and um, if the price book ratio is less than 1 that means stock is cheap, it's undervalued, it's a discount. If the price book ratio is more than 1 that means stock is expensive. The higher the number goes the more expensive it will get. So uh, let's uh, wait for it to load. 
so it might take some time to load but don't worry because the data is a lot and um, but it, it will make your life easy once it's loaded and please let me know if you have any questions for me or if you would like to request a particular stock um, if you would like me to research on I would love to make a video on that as well just leave the comments below and I'll just uh, you know make a tutorial as soon as possible I can see that in uh, 2019 August it has 5.39 which means that the stock is 5.3 times more expensive to buy right now somebody who buys right now will be paying 5.3 times more money uh, if somebody bought in 2019 April they they bought it 5.9 times more expensive they paid $74 to buy something that was $12 worth uh, if somebody bought in 2013 October they bought it 3.36 times more expensive they paid $36 to buy something that was $10 worth if somebody bought in 2008 they bought it 1.24 times more expensive they bought um, they bought the stock for $15 that was only worth $12 but right now it's 5.3 times more expensive to buy the stock let's go to other ratios I want to have a look at current ratio if current ratio is less than 1, that means stock is very risky because liabilities are more than assets. If current ratio is 1.5 or more than that, that means that the stock is very safe. It has good margin of safety. Please look for 1.5 or more than that, ideally. So let's have a look. okay i can see that the current ratio is less than 1.5 that means stock is risky let's look at the previous trend um i can see that has it ever been 1.5 or more than that um i can see that just once okay so since 2005 february up till now since recent 14 years it has always been below 1.5 so uh, except once or twice so majority of time consistently it's below 1.5 so it means it's a risky stock in terms of current ratio let's look at debt equity i'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be safe debt equity will tell me if the stock is mainly operating on debt or equity so i'm looking for one i'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant for it to be safe and have good margin of safety okay 
so here I'm looking for it's more than 0.5 so it means stock is risky in terms of debt um, so it's a risky stock I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that let's look at the previous trend has it ever been below has it ever been more than 0.5 no so I would say since 2005 up till 2019 January it has always been below 0.5 so it is a very safe stock up till 2019 January it's a very safe, safe stock but just recently in, in April 2019 um, the ratio increased um, above 0.5 so it's a risky stock there's there's no marginal safety right now it's a very risky stock in terms of debt because it's a lot more than 0.5 and even though the trend the previous trend has been very safe but recently it is a risky stock um let's have a look at return on equity i'm looking for eight percent or more than that for it to be brilliant so let's have a look Okay, I'm looking for 8% or more than it is more than 8%. That's brilliant. Let's look at the previous trend. That has it, yes, it has been below 8%. And then, so I can see since 2005 up till 2011, November, it has always been above 8%. That's brilliant return. But in between, in 2012 and 13, it's a minus return. Um, and then from 2014, January up till now, it's a, it's a positive return and it's more than 8% consistently. So I would just ignore this part 2013 and 14 because you know um, like in recent 14 years since 2005 up till now recent 14 years only two years it has give, given a negative return on a return on equity which is two years is not um, plenty so 12 years consistently it has given us more than 8% and so that's brilliant.